We're continuing Disco Elysium today. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't really got much else to say past that. So let's get going as we continue the game. As I do the slow walk outside of the, uh, outside of the whirling in rags. Oh my God, there's a disco ball. <gasps> Look at the amount of people. Oh no, they're probably all waiting for a song. <sighs> I don't have a song though. Damn it. It's fine. Hey, the map is back. This is a, such a bizarre thing right here. Wait. I haven't fully seen this whole area yet. Yeah, this is the Martinez waterfront. With all the docks and stuff. There's the sunken church. There's a Ferris wheel. And then there's the fisherman's shacks. In, in, in Martinez. Okay. All right. All right. You know what? The map is being weird. I looked I looked up before today's uh session that the map bugs out like this sometimes, but I can buy a map from this bitch. So I'm going to buy a map from her. Um is this about the questions again? Cuz I don't really know anything. I hate you. I hate you so much. I'll buy the goddamn uh, map. Have a warehouse in the back of the Whirling in Rags. A warehouse? Oh yeah, the back of that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't really care what Frit does. Oh my god, I hate you. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frit doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay? God, she's the worst. Where can to I buy- of some croissants and juice bottles. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf. One is missing. The one you legally purchased. Why did you have to specifically state to legally? Why, did, why didn't you specifically a have to say legally? Wall is filled with Wait, that's drugs and stuff. Wait, can I buy any? Wait, oh, maybe I can't buy the map from this lady. Um, is this about the questions again? A colorful dis Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both It's wine, and beer, and cigarettes. Um, the pale, you know. You know, I, I saw him pale for a couple of Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Let's concentrate on what's important here. Thank you, electrochemistry. I mean, I already said it'd hurt you. I don't know what else they do. It's alcohol. It, mm. Substances give powerful bonuses. Yeah, yeah okay. I know this part already. Like nose effed and magnesium. Okay. Does she not have a map? I thought I thought I could buy a map from her. But there's no the thing. Mm. I'm leaving. Maybe this is not the map person. Maybe someone else is the map person. Fuck it. Oh damn, it's really getting late. Oh, I should look at my tasks. Okay, tasks. Uh, this will be, oh yeah, this is Wednesday. So that's in two days. Find out who is in the union box, all right. Um, end of the day debrief is at 22. Smoke with the balcony is at 21. Get the boots off the man's feet. Find all the armor pieces, right? Sing karaoke, which means that need. Oh, maybe you know what? I'm gonna go back to uh, the weird pawn shop guy who sounds like he's taking far too many Benadryls. I think he's he's in here. I think. Let's go in. Is his name Roy? Ron? Hello again. 
Roy. How can I help you? Oh, hey, my electrochemistry is up. Uh, is Roy high? And if yes, then what is he on? 72% chance, pretty good. Feeling warm and enthralled by yes. the movement of light while the mind continues to race forward. Lucky bastard, he's probably on Perolidon. It's tough to come by on the street. Perolidon? A drug developed by the military to treat and prevent radiation sickness. It has psychedelic side effects and it makes your eyes turn yellow. Sir, can you take off your sunglasses? Why on earth? These are prescription. I can't really see without them. This man's on... How do you, you treat radiation sickness? What the hell? There's a note of indignation in his voice. Interesting. Those triangle patches on his vest. You have a feeling they mean something. Like they're similar to the halogen rectangle on your jacket. <laughs> chill out, man. I'm a chill out cop who just wants some of what you're having, wink. Proledon is just something I... You know, since the people's power disaster. <laughs> Cough. I was with the emergency relief brigade. Oh. I had to take it for radiation sickness. Did radiation sickness relief brigade? Did someone nuke somebody? Did we legalize nuclear bombs in the war? He's taken for mental and emotional, not physical pain these days. Oh, I can learn. People's pile. What's that? A bad idea. Some poor leftist built a particle decay generator in hopes of bringing affordable electricity to underserved communities. Oh. It malfunctioned. Oh. Radioactive waste everywhere. Probably some of it in you, too. Oh. Never mind. It was a Chernobyl -y thing. We were an all-volunteer force, self-organized, tried to help the fire brigades contain the spill. Tough son of a gun, this one. Respect. Thanks, Endurance. I lived by the river since I was a small boy. The Esperance didn't have the art to let it all go to shit without trying to do something to help out. There wasn't much the volunteer force could do, however. We wasted years in the river mud. Years getting sick. Oh. Wait, now I've got a lot of respect for Roy. Roy was uh, was kind of a wacko. He sounds kind of like a wacko, but now I've got a little bit of respect for his uh, for him. There's a reason why everyone's tried to forget any of it ever happened. And why no one has tried to repair or replace the pile. So much disappointment. An early death. Cancer, mostly. Yeah. And we knew all that was coming, even as we were cleaning up as best we could. Yeah, a lot like the, um... Well, 9-11 wasn't radioactive, but I know a lot of the firefighters got cancer after 9-11 because of all the, the... Just, like, the, the coagulation of, like, dust and the various things that were in the piles. No ones. Everyone's. It was a father generator fix. So much bitterness. A bunch of poor people built themselves a primitive nuclear reactor, hoping for the best. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? The <laughs> ferret. That's not that funny. It's kind of funny, though. <laughs> it's a little funny. The cleanup happened 15 years ago. I was young then. Later, my second aunt died. Left me this shack and all the assorted junk in it. So I came to Martinez. People told me don't go there. It's a shithole. I said, people, we just had a nuclear pile meltdown. <laughs> I'm going to get as far away from Forberg as I can. Still in the same city, but... Hmm. I like the theory more than the story. Outward movement, not vortices. I don't even know what that word means. Vortices. Definition. A mass of whirling fluid or air, especially a whirlpool or whirlwind. Ah. Gotcha. Yeah. You gotta get in on those vortices, my man. 
guy who's fucking <laughs> electrochemistry. You might be able to uh, uh, aid investigation. I doubt it, but I can try and answer any questions you may have. You know, I feel like I should be really, f m like, exhausting a lot more of these dialogue options. Sometimes I kind of forget I'm a detective, and I should be asking him a shitload of questions, uh, because I'm such a fuck-up that I just kind of forget, because my character is just so awful. Um, like, so terrible of a guy, I kind of forget that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing a job. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's like, solve the murder, okay, I'm gonna get high. <laughs> I do my best to keep my distance from all manner of butchery. Bad for business. Bad for everyone. No one likes to see what you have to see every day. Think you to help me get a corpse out of a tree? The corpse behind the hostel I show. I don't have a truck with a mounted platform or anything of that sort myself. Ask around the harbor. There might be some workers there who'd be willing to help. Okay. The pawnbroker's gaze is already fixed on the dancing colors. Care to share your... No, I really shouldn't take that. Sure thing. I sold you my gun? You... Uh... Oh no. We've came here too. That just sounded really, really bad. Oh no. You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol citizens' militia. Oh. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. Photon emissions? He's not telling you the whole story. It seems he's trying to spare you. <sighs> Thanks, Roy. I'll let I'll let him try to spare me. Any idea we're going to find the buyer? My apologies, officer, but I have no idea where she was coming from or where she went. A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can do about it now. You just have to hope you luck upon her somehow. That's awful. Thanks, Logic. Sure, man. Uh, all right. Is there anything I can buy here? Does he sell a you map? See rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Big men on big horses clad in lamella armor and carrying flintlocks, the kind that would mow down a line of enemy soldiers in the blink of an eye. Franco Nigerian Knight. I used to be very serious about these guys. Franco Nigerian Knights. What a bizarre name. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by he's serious about them? Kim, what does that even mean? A long, long time ago. Hmm. They're not all blue. These figurines also wear gold coats and caps, complemented by orange trousers. They are variously posed, wielding swords and rifles with bayonets. Well, oh yeah, it looks like Grenade, the old guy, who's playing Baton. This is what the loyalists looked like, yes, at first. Then they wised up and got camouflage. <laughs> camouflage. Which one? Ah, royalist soldiers from the time of the revolution. The uniforms are painted a bit too brightly, I suppose. Hmm. A bit too brightly, though. Figurines in rat? This set of soldiers isn't meant to look impressive. A few have rifles, but most of them carry pistols. Some even shovels and tall sticks. Oh god. You're probably talking about the revolutionaries, yes? Oh uh, yeah. Yes, they are soldiers. Revolutionary soldiers. I think their poverty has been exaggerated for effect. <laughs> when you place them next to the royalists, it doesn't seem like they could possibly win. Uh, I was about to say, I think it's meant to make people feel disheartened about being the revolutionary or something. What? What is this? 
It is impossible to win against the cohorts of capital. Ask my friend Garth, whose bitch it made me. <laughs> whose bitch it made me. I wish she was more nuanced. I don't like either step very yeah. much, to be honest. It should be more but nuanced. There are many parents among my customers. He seems to have his own take on the conflict played out in perpetuity by these toys. It might be interesting to find out what it is. So, so blue uniforms are are obviously the revolution or uh, the um the loyalists, the horrendously impoverished uh farm workers are the ones in rags, and the horseback were they the foreigners? Big men on big horses. Franco Nigerian knight. I used to be very serious about these guys. A long, long time ago. Or are they just like an old school knight group? I, hmm. I don't hmm. wait so do you not sell do the you boom not boxes wait on the shelves and your boom box that gold and amber Harmon Walshi stares at you longingly with its tape real eyes I really want to buy the boom box but it's so expensive A typical Martinez <laughs> okay well he doesn't sell he doesn't seem to sell a map either. My map that is sometimes here and then sometimes not here. Does anyone else sell anything? So the, the gate opens on Wednesday. Today is Monday. So I've got at least till day three to open it up. Then there's this dude who's trying to sell me sneakers and shit. I thought it was a ball I could grab him. Uh... Why- why can I sit on this bench? The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench. If you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Ah, so it's a time passer. Gotcha. Hmm. What was my, my logic amount for it? It was like medium for this monument, I think. An old monument stands. 42%. The the traffic island. Right. That's not great. But you know... It's encyclopedia, like, why not just give it a shot? It's just a big horseback. With the aid of numerous ropes and rods. We can do 42%. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Okay. Old Philipp Philippian kings. Old sumptuous Philip, Philip was on his prof... Big word. Profligacy? Well, he blew through the whole national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers, the suzerain of Revachol. Mm -hmm. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. How did he manage to blow through the entire national tre treasury? Stories have it that he had his bedroom converted into a treasure chamber, where he stored unfathomable wealth. Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, and various chalices. He called it the Sol Aurum. It was obscene. Okay. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed like a normal person. Thanks, Encyclopedia. The man certainly knew how to live. <laughs> a, 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 you know, I'm gonna call him a farce. But wait, you haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. Oh, I'm very curious. You see, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury on gold and ceremonial weaponry. 
he was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Snorter of nose candy? Not just any nose candy, though. We're talking Royal Philippian Blow. Allegedly twice as potent as the stuff you find nowadays. And purple. Philippian cocaine was purple. I'm, let's pretend like I'm stupid and I, I'm very curious about cocaine. Cocaine. God damn it. That's what the revolutionaries said 150 years later. Right before they entered out the royal mausoleum and dumped His Majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. His Majesty's courtiers said it helped him connect with the higher realms. God damn it. Beneath the cold waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. A group of marble pleurons still surround the king's vandalized tomb. A deathly cold wind sweeps up candy wrappers and old newspapers. What happened to the statue? I mean, I'm pretty positive they tried to destroy it. The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution when Martinez was leveled. Some years ago, a group of liberal artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Rivershaw in the poorest part of the city. <laughs> it is kind of ironic. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time, a rear butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. Oh, oh, the statue is intentionally supposed to be like this? Oh, I thought the statue was still fucked up because this area of Martinez has been left uh, destroyed after the revolution. I thought it was just still destroyed. So this is the fully made statue. It's, it's artistic expression of it getting blown to shit. I think that's kind of funny, actually. I kind of like that. Call me a, a pedant, but still. People in Martinez tend to disagree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Yeah, uh, yeah, but I, I don't, I can't think of a more hyper annoying person than an art critic. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. That's kind of funny though, I'm not gonna lie. They, they said that some of the dock workers might be able to help me with my uh, body problem. Uh, let's ask you first and then I'll ask the scab guy. Nope. Help you. Never mind. He hasn't got anything. I'll talk to the scab guy, even though I'm not a hap not very happy about the scab guy. Slow walking. Right to work. Right to work. Shame on you. I want to get in this harbor. Have fun. <laughs> Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through. Trying to meet their fat boss. Uh, I'm interviewing people. I know nothing about a murder. His reply is snappy and terse. The mention of a killing sends a barely noticeable shiver of tenseness through him. Interesting. Why so tense, my guy? What are you talking about? I'm not tense. Yes, he's tense. Thank you, composure. And dangerous. Somewhere below it. Yeah, no shit. He's giant. He looks huge. Right to work. It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring backup. Open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Hey, Dad, this isn't really my expertise. We are not speaking your Sahindis just yet, sir. Pity. Let us work. That. That pity was just full of venom. What is a strike? God, 
God, Jesus. When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide to block honest work for other people. Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights, while we have the right to work! When the man moves around, you perceive some serious abs beneath <laughs> his trafficking <laughs> shirt. This man is in shape. Yeah, no shit he's in shape. Look at him. The man is, is built like a goddamn truck. How come you're built like a brick shit house, but the other scabs are so scrawny? Fucking beautiful. I love it. I work hard, and I would work even harder if the fuckers would let us work. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. All right. Where are you from? What's it to you? Deep set suspicion just from every syllable. Routine, part of the investigation. Am I a suspect? I've done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of people. Yeah, about, uh, about that. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. I came from the eminent domain, from Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. S Sweet. I know bars. Been thrown out of several. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell? Yeah. I've, I totally have been there. Definitely. Uh-huh. It was a long time ago. Okay, he doesn't give a fuck, whatever. Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. Steadily graying military hair. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? Yes. No, they follow oh. the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were... Given a job to do. I gotta be honest. This game makes it very difficult to pick a side. Like, whenever I think of scabs, my mind mostly goes negative. My mind mainly is like, no, that's bad. Sca scabs ruin, like, honest unions. But then the union people in this game don't seem like they're being particularly um realistic at all every single vote for every single worker is fucking ludicrous and insane and then the union is ran by like crime syndicate but then i'm trusting the word of like the corporate chill lady on the boat but wild pines don't seem great either it's very tough I'm not a big fan of all of them. I kind of don't like any of them. Which I think is the point. Which is great. Good job. But shit. We were promised work. We'd be in there working if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Why are you unable to breach it? Main gate's locked. It would take heavy ordinance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. You're pretty giant, though. Can you take on Measure Head? And I don't mean the scrawny mess punk either. I mean Head Measurer. Or whatever he is. Head Measurer. Have you considered storming in? Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. No. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that one, my guy. I 
I still can't make the jump because of my goddamn jacket. Alright, I'm gonna try to deal with Measurehead. Fuck it. Here we go. Last we saw, your face was being superseded by the Seminese. You're right, boss. Now I need you to help me get that corpse down from the tree. <laughs> Enough with this begging. I had to do it. Leave the stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring your troops to the Seminine Islands and to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build a museum. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oaths to homosexuality you call art, and your microcephalic skulls. This is your chance. He's talking. Rip into him with a punch and catch him off guard. No, don't rip into anyone. You're sensitive. Remember? Communicate. Subscribe to his advanced race theory. Not a big fan of that one. Or physical instrument also low. You serve the union, don't you? Aren't they white? <laughs> uh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma much deeper than that. There must be some friction there. He's keeping it well hidden, however. Yeah, but you still serve them. How does that factor with your life? Sir Claire is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital. Something your race, nivistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. I'm no communist. Is it time to renounce our, our faith? Is it is it time to have a crisis of faith, everybody? Of course you are. Revasholian man. The failure of communism to challenge the world order is the core of your race fate. All around you, the fruits of its defeat. Individualism, rock and roll music, <laughs> sexually transmitted disease, above all, rampant multinational finance still reigning large. Tell me where have you gotten your love of pathetic communism from? Degenerate youth culture? Rock and roll music? Stop explaining yourself. No one cares about your beliefs. The conversation has moved on. Tell me, what degenerate subculture has made you dress in this shameful way? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's a really good meme template right there. <laughs> what degenerate subculture has made you dress in this shameful way? And then, and then you uh, come on. Like, there are so many options there. There are so many options there. <laughs> you know what? Disco. Offshoots of the Seminese people invented disco while having sex under the influence of cocaine. Oh, it is a okay. shame upon my race. But what is done is done. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Seminese race. I'll ask. Fucking whatever, I'll ask. The South Island race. Ablo group R4R. 
We are the rightful masters of the Insulindian Archipelago. We descend from the Areopagites of ancient... He pronounces Belicopolis things so bizarrely. 4,000 years ago. Millennia before you. So is, is this their version of, like, Native Americans or, um... Um... Oh, fuck. I'm forgetting. Aborigines? I guess? We are the future. That is all you need to know. It's a little hard to keep up with his very bizarre accent, and it's all in caps. I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulumbuir are with me in my genetic dreams. I see young Simonis women walk into the gray mass on Ile de Fantôme waiting on immaculate conception from the pale. So you did not come from no. the islands? Okay. I have heard about it on the radio. What the fuck? He would be appreciative if you did not further chase this line of inquiry in front of the women. Success, I'm gonna keep chasing it. I'm from Kuron, and no, it is not just in Revachon. Wait, so the he's a fucking phony. To the Simony strategy. Spreading through its trade networks, our culture will dominate the world. So he's a phony. You have heard enough about our phylogenetic secrets for today. You have extinction to come to terms with. And never getting that dead body down from the tree. Kim, what do you think? I think this racist is better than the last, but the next racist will be the really good one. <laughs> How do you know there'll be a better racist, Kim? Or next racist? It always is. <laughs> yeah. Race is reality. He nods approvingly. Oh, lovely. Awesome with the tattoos. Fuck the racists it. are generally not very good examples of their race. Gestures toward the lorry men down the street. I am not like them. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. Does this have anything to do with the star on the dude on the being hung? True. That is a noble cranium, but you got a hard knock in yourself. You sure I'm not craniometrically superior to you? You exhibit forward projection of the jaw, indicative of schizophrenia and sexual inaccountability. I definitely From have those. From aesthetic standpoint, the dimple in your jaw makes you look like a baby. This is not craniometry. Just an observation. It is impossible to see any more of your bone structure. It is covered in the ravages of Alhul. From what remain of your features, I can see fleshy lips, baldness of the head, and long arms relative to lower limbs. This leads me to conclude you are not a police officer. You are a common criminal, an offspring of murderers and sailors from Sur La Clé and Vesper, and possibly even the degenerate sheep herders of Ubi. Your racial heritage is uninteresting. It is the same as all Rivasholians. Your parents and their parents made the decision to reproduce well, under the, the influence of alcohol. That is the only reason you are here. He's right there. It's almost impossible to get it on unless you're both drunk. It's too scary when people are sober. I don't have enough of a chance of either of these to work out to work it out. We still uh. need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. Try the jump. 
up there on the roof. It'll be worth it. Else there is little choice but to figure out a way to do it. So, so be fair, we both know that we we can't make the jump, buddy. We both know we can't make the jump. So I either need to beat him up or assist him in his concept of race theory. Lovely. Love it. Fantastic. Great. Hey, smoky guy. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. What's I'm on going. Your mind? I'm going for the empathy. Ease into it. Fuck! Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. Gotcha. Hey, man, you look sad. What's wrong with you? You really are the law, aren't you? I get that being bluntly <laughs> observant and inquisitive comes with the territory. It certainly doesn't help with your conversational skills, does it? God damn it. Maybe the full-on direct approach wasn't correct. I'm gonna talk to the gardener more. I don't think I've exhausted her dialogue. I can't it's snowing again. It felt like springtime just a few days ago. Yo, what's with this fuck the police business? Excuse me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. What's that? Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. Oh, it's okay. I didn't mean it. I, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, I wanted to yell at her more. Since the street signs messed up. Okay, what do you need? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements. Not a lot, really. Pier, buildings, apartments. You should explore. Maybe scale a wall. The harbor gate. Some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store, too. Some shops and a bridge. Just coast. Oh yeah, the, the canal's closed Rose down, yeah. Stalls under a broad roof where That's right. fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere. I don't know. The abandoned yeah. no problem. She didn't really have much interesting stuff. Other houses punch his measure head off. What's the worst thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that can happen? There's there is a 28% chance, my guy. There's a lot that could happen. The lights are so pretty when it gets dark. I'm gonna ask about the rest of the stuff. Who are these famous people? Oh, kings and queens and generals of old, or artists and writers, or musicians, those kinds of people. There's usually something extraordinary about them. She's still out here in the snow, what the fuck? I think that's why people read them, to find the secrets of their fame. Seems like most people who read those books fail to get more famous from reading them. <laughs> that is the market you're selling to. Rich people don't read other rich people books. But it does make the famous people more famous. <laughs> They sound like a bunch of dorks. Annette's expression remains ever so helpful, but she doesn't say anything. Yeah, you heard me. Only losers waste their time with that garb. I feel bad about her, about her and the kids' feelings. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I I, I didn't want to hurt the kids' feelings because maybe they wanted to read it. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that and the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Uh... It's that bad. Crime is what we were solving before this conversation began. Thanks, Kim. It's exciting to people, I guess. They get to imagine dangerous things, and it's kind of like a puzzle where you can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm a policeman, by the way. You don't look much like a policeman. What is that? What is that supposed to look like? I didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. <laughs> look at the guy. Look at the guy. I'll never be as good as Mullen. Don't say that. He's not even real. You're real. Overshadowed by a fake man. Cheer up, sir. It's much easier being a fictional character. He doesn't have to deal with real things. 
Maybe you can show me some real deductive police work, sir. Like in the books. Okay, I'll try. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Oh, 42% chance. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What do you mean, sir? She knows where this is going. I need to, I'm here to help. She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. She have a cigarette burn or something? The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. Come on, Kim, this is important. A facade of true professionalism. He is far more intrigued by the situation than his poise reveals. She brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. Oh, she bites her nails. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. <laughs> She's not impressed. She actually is impressed. This is more like a defensive reflex. I can figure out why. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. You're up. You're uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's putting on you. That is the right answer. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. Either way, another ace deduction for the number one detective in town. I feel like Kim is going to say something about this. It was okay, sir. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. Mm, all right. You're quite sober. Ha! The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes effort. <laughs> Kim. Oh. I, I'm also sad and my head hurts. I'm sorry, sir. I hope things get better soon. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar somehow. Oh. Oh, did I have a kid? I'm going to ask her about the rest of this stuff and then ask her this question because I might get more It's for the it. type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. Man and lady business? What about the book where the man and lady business doesn't work out? I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask mum. Yeah, you think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup. I don't think it's a romance story if the main characters break up, though. No, 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 think about it. One where they plunge into a torrid spiral of pain and recrimination, only it's really long and drawn out. Scarred for life. Phantom limb! Um, no, I don't know. You can take this. Blossom like a pain flower. Yeah, yeah, and it drags on for years and years with no resolution in sight. The girl is at a loss for words. And each of you filling with resentment and bitterness for having ruined each other's lives. She shifts and sways on her feet, looking confused and uncomfortable. Stop. There's no need for this. It's in your power to change the subject. And each of you certainly each those innards leaving a gaping emptiness and vacuum heart, a heart that still hurts ceaselessly. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how to help you. Sir, sorry, sir. I'm still little. I, I don't, I can't. <laughs> I've harmed my morale. <laughs> that makes sense, though. It's time to leave it be. You're about to make a child cry. Oh! Are you proud of yourself? Damn right I am. <laughs> no, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna. <laughs>
Ugh. Uh, I'm starting to think I had a marriage that didn't work out very well. Starting to think that maybe just a little bit. What about a poor man getting a rich lady? It happens, but usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually well, yeah, he's be marrying. rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly, like during the revolution or something. Those are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. Well, and both of the men are bad? These are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. <laughs> well, if it's written really well. Well, maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. What about when everyone is poor? That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and <laughs> money, 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 dollar books. And everyone is happy in the end. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe some about other books? Mm, you can stop calling me, sir. I am but a working man. No, sir, I can't. It would be too tiring to refrain from it. It's already tiring enough to remember to say it all the time. It's nice of you to say I could stop, though. I get you. I, for example, can't stop making this face. That's a friendly enough face, most of the time. Thanks. God, my face is so bad. All right, 72%. I'm definitely going to fail this one because I got the 42% earlier. You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard again. I really didn't want to feel... I really didn't want to be right, but I was right. God damn it! Oh shit, it's 2107. We gotta get to the place. We gotta go, Kim. We gotta go. We gotta get to the other to the uh to the other area. We've got a we've got a old a smoking man to deal with. Tasks. Um smoking on the balcony. Visit apartment 28. 28, 28, 28, 28, 28. You're dead. Nope. Oh wait, time doesn't go right now, I'm okay. I broke into this person's house already. You hear someone walking around inside. That's 10. Well, oh, that's the other balcony. Oh wait, I think I need to go like up to the other balcony or something. Ah, here we are. That's right, it's it's the one way above. I remember now. A maroon glow of pollution rises in the east. You hear distant traffic. Night is falling on the city. Are you 28? This door is made yes. of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Knock, knock. No one answers. We should return tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. I thought it was today. Man, a lot of these things take quite a while. I'm going to have to eventually... Wait, shooting it down is an option? Wait, what? Shooting it down is an option? I thought... Isn't... Isn't the, ch like the, the, the link, like, steel reinforced? So wouldn't you not be able to shoot it down? I saw it was an option, but I thought it was just my character being a goddamn idiot. Which, like, is... You know... Fair. I thought it was one of those dumb... Dumb me moments. Can I really? Like, like I, I feel like it's like, We should shoot it down, Kim, and Kim will be like, No. That's stupid. The sabatons dangle off the man's decaying form, ageless and synthetic. A small bell-like sound ooh, ooh. fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain cup. Suddenly, your biceps coil up, 
Your elbow is sharp and cocked for a punch. Punch it harder! Your fist connects to the boot with the same ding. The sound does not appear to get louder. Did you hear that? A click? Yes. This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. See these lines? Faint organic lines cover the plates where they separate into smaller ones. These plates then divide into smaller plates, like the scales of some ancient white monster, cracked and pearly. The cadaver slowly twists on the I cargo belt. His eye dark brown. Underneath the curdled meat, there is an expression. Not why do you think so? It's an intuition. Okay. Okay, cool. That part's in. Why do you think so? Hmm. Why do you think there are no supernatural The course sorry. looks right through. Wait, why you can't you distance yourself? Kim? Should I talk to you, Kim? Yes. <sighs> Have I lost my ability to shoot it down? I guess once I choose the dock workers, I can't shoot it down. Despite it literally saying, shoot it down or ask for help. Well, shit, I guess I'm locked in. I need to ask for help but from the, the main union boss, which means I need to get through me Measure Man first. I almost call him Method Man. Uh, measure Man first. Huh. Crap. Crap. 